Hi, what's your name? Kathy Bartlett. Where are you from, Kathy? East Meadow, Long Island. And you came here to see the Beatles. You must be a Beatles fan. Yes, I am. Do you have all their records? Almost. Are you excited to be here? Yes. What's your favorite Beatles song? Uh... Well, all right, I'll ask you another one. When did you buy the tickets? How long have you had the tickets to be here tonight? Well... Did your mommy buy the tickets for you? No. no. Uh, let's see, what else can I ask? What do you think of all these people? Quite a crowd, isn't it? Yes. Uh, are you disappointed that not enough people have come out here to fill all the seats? Some of them are empty. You think the Beatles are not as popular as they once were? No. More popular? No. Uh, about what? Le they're less popular than they were months ago. Really? I bet there's another group you like better now than the Beatles. Is there? there is. Which one? Herman and the Hermits. Okay, thanks, Kathy. Thanks. Hi, what's your name? Suzanne. And where are you from? Wontaw. Now, tell me the truth. Are you really a Beatles fan, or are you here because it's the right thing to do? Uh -uh, I love the Beatles. I bet there's a group you like better now. No, I don't like any group better than the Beatles. Honestly, aren't the Beatles on their way out? I don't think so. I think they're still strong. Tell me, what do you feel when you hear the Beatles singing? Oh, I feel like I'm going to drop dead. <laughs> what, what thoughts run through your mind? I wish I could have one of them to myself. Which one? Oh, he's the only one with the married. Uh, would you settle for one of the others? Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you think you might do some screaming tonight? I'm going to lose my voice, I know I am, because I'm going to screech and cry so loud. Uh, could you give us a sample? Scream? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hello. What's your name? Karen. Where are you from? North Belmore, Long Island. And uh, were you at the Beatles concert last year? No, I didn't have a chance to get there. This is your first. Yeah. Are you excited? Yes, very. <laughs> Tell me, what do you think of when you see the Beatles or hear them? Oh, I go, well, I, I can't help myself. <laughs> I love them. Do you have a favorite? Yes, John. Why? I just love them. <laughs> Honestly. Do you think the Beatles are out of style? Never. They'll never go out of style. Tell me the truth now. Which group do you like better than the Beatles? The Beatles all the time. I love them. Okay. Thank you. All right, now where's the boys coming? You're pretty brave to be out here with all these girls. Well, I'm just glad I'm not one of the Beatles. Don't you think this whole Beatle craze is sort of silly and strictly for girls? No, not really. I think they're very talented musicians and talented songwriters and excellent showmen. You like them? Yeah. How long do you think they can last? As long as they keep playing, they'll last. And writing songs and making pictures. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, now. Hello, what's your name? Fran. Where are you from, Fran? Brooklyn, Coney Island section. Tell me, when you hear a Beatles record, what thoughts run through your mind? Beauty, sheer beauty. The sounds are so mellow and sweet, and there's Paul, and there's John, and there's Ringo, and there's George. They're all singing. They're my second favorite group, really. Oh, really? What, what are your favorites? The Animals, but they're breaking up. I always loved them, but the Beatles really started me off. And, you know, the Beatles bring joy into the world. The, the happiness. We forget our kids when we hear Beatle records. They're fun. Tell me this. How long do you think the Beatles can last? Well, I wish they'd last forever. They could bring happiness to everybody. But they're pretty much on their way out, aren't they? I don't really think so. Look at this. Tell me they're on their way out, and look at this. A lot of empty seats here tonight. Well, majority is filled. Look. 
Okay, thanks, Brown. Most everybody down here, even if they don't belong here. All right. <laughs> Hi, what's your name and where are you from? Cheryl Campanelli, New High Park. Do you like the Beatles? I love them. Are you out here just because your friends came or because you really like them? Because I really like them. I love them. Have all their records? Yep, almost. What, what sort of feeling do you get when you listen to them? Ah, I don't know. <laughs> it's a great feeling. You, I don't know. You think you're going to scream much tonight? Yep. Do you scream when you listen to the records at home? Sometimes. Uh, what do you suppose one of your screams might sound like? <laughs> <laughs> Well, it looks like the bloom is off the Beatles. Last year, not an empty seat in Shea Stadium. This year, thousands, perhaps 15 or 20,000 empty seats in this arena that holds 56,000. Which means that not every 15-year-old in this area woke up this morning and came out to Shea Stadium. But the thousands that did made up an enthusiasm for their lack of numbers. Standing, milling about, Screaming. Mo Which means that not every 15-year-old in this area woke up this morning, had breakfast, put on a special outfit, and came out to Shea Stadium. But the thousands that did more than made up in, th in enthusiasm for their lack of numbers. Standing, milling around, sporting signs, placards, buttons, banners, Mostly just screaming. What many consider to be that Liverpool pain is mainly on the wane. But if tonight's What many consider to be that Liverpool pain may be mainly on the wane. But if tonight's noise is any criterion, the Beatles' reign will end not with a whimper, but with a roar. This is Leonard Harris, WCBS-TV News at Shea Stadium. What many consider to be that Liverpool pain may be mainly on the wane, but one thing is sure. If the Beatles' reign is ending, it is ending not with a whimper, but with a roar. This is Leonard Harris, WCBS-TV News at Shea Stadium.